Hi, my name is John Kennedy here at Luco Incorporated, and I'm going to explain today how to properly tension and track a belt. The first thing you want to do before while tracking your belt is you want to make sure that your conveyor is level with the floor. You want to make sure that it's square to itself, that all your ends don't sag. You want to make sure this doesn't sag up or down. Make sure that this is level with the bed. Same with your other end. Make sure that it's level with the bed that your pulley is nice and split in between itself. At the drive end needs to be the same way. You need to make sure that this is all level and square to itself, that the pulley is nice and split. The next step is to go ahead and get the proper tension to your belt. So as you can see here, the belt's still loose and it'll slide back and forth from side to side on the pulley. You want to get that right in the middle of the split. Then what you want to do is go ahead and start adjusting these tension screws out evenly. You want to make sure they're even all the way. You usually start out with a common, uh, like say go half an inch on each side. Then check and see how tight it is. The easiest tool to use while tracking a belt is a 3 8 ratchet with a, with a 12 point 3 quarter socket. Your first step is to start tensioning out the pulley. So you usually want to stick with like a common denominator, like half an inch or something like that, just to get a basis of where you're, what you're doing. So I get it out a little bit more. That's a half an inch. That's a half an inch on that side. But as you can see, I can still move my, my belt back and forth, so I have not received quite proper tension yet. Now I have it out to about three quarters of an inch, so I'll match the other side to the same. Sides out to 15 sixteenths. You can see I can still move my belt, it's still not tight enough, so I'll continue to tension it out. Got about an inch on that side, so I'll match my inch to the other side. Still can move my belt, so still not tight enough. Okay, working it out in small increments. Got that side to inch and a quarter. Still need to go a little farther. Got that out to just over inch and a half, about inch and nine sixteenths. Tension this side out to match the other side, about inch and nine sixteenths. Sixteenths. Still got to go just a little farther. Starting to get there though. It's about inch and three quarter. As you can tell, it's still not there yet. I can move it pretty easily from side to side. So I'll continue to tension it out. Got about two inches on that side. About two inches on that side. Still got a little bit of play in there. Quarter inch increments are pretty good to work with while tensioning out your belt. You want to work it evenly across both sides, but always use like a quarter inch on this side, quarter inch on that side, so you don't get the belt too tight, but you make sure that you get it tight enough where it's not going to slip on your pulleys. Still tensioning it out, get this side to two and a quarter. Okay, as you can see, it looks like we got there now. We can't move our belt on our pulley anymore. Looks like we're just, that's pretty good. Okay, always something to remember while tensioning your belt. You want to be able to take your fist and fit it in between the belt and the bed 
And then you know you have a pretty good tension on the belt. Now that you have your conveyor running, you just want to kind of look at the belt and see what it's doing. As you can see, it's beginning to track off to this side, but we'll just let it keep going a little bit to make sure that it's not going to go too far. As you can see, the pulley's tracking off to one side, so as I tension up this screw, it's going to bring my belt back the other direction. A little bit goes a long way in this step. If you move it too much, it may work itself too far the other way. You may have to move it back. The belt's starting to work its way back, so now I'll just stand back and observe and see what the belt's going to do. A rule of thumb while tracking, you always want to remember that the faster your belt's moving, the quicker it'll, it'll go through adjustments. Say you go a little bit on this side, it may go really, really fast, seeing that your belt goes fast. With a slower moving belt like this one, it may take a little more time for your adjustments. As you can see here, my adjustment on this side has caused my belt to run a little bit off to this side. So I can either back this side off a little bit, or I can tension this side out just a little to see if it responds. So I'll decide to go ahead and tight, tighten this side out some more. Just a couple turns. And then we'll stand back and see what our adjustments have done. As you can see, it's already starting to work its way back onto the pulley. So we'll just stand back and watch it. It's starting to track itself off. And you want to make sure that it's doing the same down at the drive end. So down here at the drive end, we have another adjustment. It's called the snubber roller. That's this roller here. It has small adjustment to help your drive stay on course to track. So what I'll do is, seeing that it's tracking over this direction, I'll loosen this side up. Okay, with the adjustment down here, I can loosen this bolt here, and I can pull this roller towards me. Tightening that up. And then we'll just see how that change takes course. As you can see, it looks like it's already starting to work its way back the other direction. Belt tracking usually is pretty tedious. You have to make sure that you take your time and that you make proper adjustments to the belt. It may take some time and it may take a little effort to get it to track properly, but once it's tracked, then you shouldn't have to mess with it. During tracking, it's always important to remember, you may not be able to get it completely perfect, but as you see here, we're doing a good tracking job but it may track a little bit more to this side or a little bit more to this side. One key thing to remember is you never want it to run off the end of the pulley here or off the end of the pulley here or vice versa at the drive end. As long as it's working itself over and coming back, working itself over and coming back, it's getting pretty good tracking. As long as you're not tearing up the edges of your belt by tracking too far this way or too far that way, you're doing pretty good. I just wanted to thank you for watching our video about belt tracking. Just remember, belt tracking is a fairly easy process, but you always want to take your time while doing it to make sure you do it properly. Thanks. Again.